now let us discuss about sr latch using nand gate uh, here we require two nand gates so this is the first nand gate next second nand gate yes sir here we require two inputs the first input is yes set r stands for reset the first nand gate will accepts yes as the input the second nand gate will accepts r as the input next here we can call these nand gates as cross coupled nand gates cross coupled nand gates why because the output of one nand gate is supplied as input to the next nand gate here the second nand gate receives input from output of the first nand gate likewise the first nand gate receives second input from output of the second nand gate output of the second nand gate next we can call this as q output here whereas here we will get uh, output as q bar so q and q bar are complemented to each other so in order to implement sr latch using nand gates we require two nand gates okay where the first nand gate accepts s as the input and the second input is output of the second nand gate and likewise second nand gate receives two inputs first input is output of the first nand gate second input is r input and the outputs are q and q bar so these two are complemented to each other now let us discuss about uh, the truth table the truth table so here we have two inputs the first input is s second input is r whereas the outputs are q and q bar q and q bar these two are the outputs uh, here we have two inputs so totally we will have two power 2 that is four combinations so 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 so first let us focus on 0 1 so here what is s value s value is 0 what is r value r value is 1 so this is r so r value is 1 okay this is nothing but nand gate first let us analyze the truth table for the nand gate uh, he, uh, let the inputs are 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 so nand gate means reverse of the and gate so what is and gate if the inputs are 1 if the inputs are 1 1 then the result is 1 otherwise the result is 0 otherwise the result is 0 so that means 0 0 means 0 0 1 means 0 1 0 means 0 whereas 1 1 means 0 nand gate means reverse of the and gate so triple 0 1 is converted to triple 1 0 triple 1 0 so this is nothing but nand gate if we analyze the output if one of the input is 0 if one of the input is 0 then the output is 1 so 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 so if one of the input is 0 then the output is 1 if both inputs are 1 then the output is 0 so now let us analyze the circuit here uh, here the first nand gate is accepting 0 as the input if one of the input is 0 then we can say that output is 1 whereas if you take the second nand gate it is accepting 1 as the input so 1 0 means we will get 1 1 1 means we will get 0 so that's why we need to focus on the nand gate which accepts 0 as the input okay uh, so it is accepting 0 as the input so what is the output now if one input is 0 then the output is 1 then the output is 1 next we have to pass this output as input to the second nand gate so for the second nand gate the inputs are 1 1 1 1 means output is 0 so 1 1 means output is 0 okay so if the inputs are 0 1 then what is the output output is nothing but q output is nothing but q so what is q value 1 
वेर यस वॉट इज क्यू बार वैल्यू क्यू बार वैल्यू इज जीरो ओके या दिस इज द अबाउट वेन द इनपुट्स आर जीरो वन नाउ लेट इज फोकस ऑन द नेक्स्ट द नेक्स्ट सीनारियो दट इज वन जीरो वन जीरो एस वैल्यू इज वन आर वैल्यू इज जीरो एस वैल्यू इज वन आर वैल्यू इज जीरो हियर क्यू एंड क्यू बार आर कॉम्प्लीमेंटेड टू ईच अदर ओके क्यू इज वन एंड क्यू बार इज जीरो ओके नेक्स्ट हियर इफ यू ऑब्जर्व हियर द सेकेंड एंडिगेट इज एक्सेप्टिंग द सेकेंड एंडिगेट इज एक्सेप्टिंग जीरो एज द इनपुट If one of the input is zero, then what is the output? One. So the second AND gate will produces one as the output. One as the output. Next, this one will be passed as the input to the first AND gate. So one one means what is the output? Zero is the output. So here, if the inputs are one zero, then what is the output? Output is denoted by Q. So what is Q value? Zero. And what is Q bar value? One. They, these two are complemented to each other. So zero one. Zero one. Now let us focus on zero zero. Let us focus on zero zero. So S value is zero. R value is zero. So let us focus on zero zero. Zero zero. Ah uh, here uh, the input is zero. If one of the input is zero, then what is the output? One is the output. So we should not bother about the second input. If one of the input is zero, then the output is one. So Q is one. So here also for the second AND gate also. One of the input is zero, so it will produce one as the output. So here Q is one as well as Q bar is one, but this condition won't arise. Why? Because here the outputs should be complemented to each other, but here we have same output one one. So this never arises. So we can say that here the output is one one. So this scenario is we can call this as uh, never used. So we can't use this one. never used okay we can't use this one why because here the outputs are one one same outputs but here q and q bar should be complemented to each other okay so we can't use these inputs next let us focus on one one let us focus on one one so s value is one as well as r value is one s value is one r value is one here for the first in and gate one of the input is one if one of the input is one then we can't say what is the output why because if the second input is zero then the output is one if the second input is one the output is zero okay so we can't uh, predict which is the output so that's why here so assumes that q value is one q bar value is zero assumes that q value is one q bar value is zero likewise let us take one more one more scenario where q is zero q bar is one okay so here if we observe here Here, what is Q bar value? Q bar value is zero. So this zero will be passed as input to the first AND gate. Q bar value is zero. So this zero is passed as the input to the first AND gate. Likewise, for the second AND gate, this Q will be passed as the input. So what is this Q? One. Okay. So one zero means what is the output? One zero means one is the output. So one one means what is the output? Zero is the output. If we observe here, here we got one. So this one is nothing but previous output. Here we got zero. So this zero is nothing but previous output. So we can say that this is used for memory. This is used for memory. So that means we can use for storing the previous data. For storing the previous data. So here, here what is the output we got? One. The previous output is also one. So here we got zero as the output. What is the previous output? Zero is the output. Or we can say that this is no change. So the current state output is no change. We will get output as just like the previous one only. Now let us take one more scenario. Uh, instead of one, let us take zero. If Q is zero, then what is Q bar value? Q bar value is one. Q bar value is one. So here, what is Q value? Zero. So this zero will be passed as the input. Here, what is Q bar value one? So this one will be passed as the input. So one one means what is the output? Zero. Zero one means what is the output? One. So here we got zero as the output. This is nothing but previous output. Here we got one as the output. This is nothing but previous output. So when the inputs are one one, then we can say that it is memory. That means we can uh, there is no change in previous output. Okay. so this is about sr latch using nand gate 